Today I'm going to show you how to get the refined gold speaking trumpet spy guys, cutlass, and the cartographer tattoos. Alright, first things first, this is a guide on the Wish You Were Here event. This event will last from September 14th at 10am UTC time until September 21st at 10am UTC time, which means this event will last for exactly one week. Now this video is going up at 10am UTC time on September 16th, which means there are exactly five days left in the event from when this video goes up. Now as a quick note for everyone, it does say in the rewards tab that these cosmetics will arrive in a future season. So if the event's already over, you'll be able to get them at some point in the future. Otherwise, just so everyone knows, even if you get these now, they will come back later. They'll probably be easier to get now, so I'd recommend getting them now, but they will be back at some point. Also, I do want to mention for the duration of this event, Coral Loot and Ashen Loot will give you additional gold and reputation when sold. So if you're trying to grind out reputation or you just want gold, Ashen Voyages are going to be insane right now. All right, now let's talk about this event. If you want to track any of the challenges, go into your menu, Pirate Log, Season 9, Events, Special Events, Wish You Were Here. Now how this event works is there are 12 challenges. For every three challenges you complete, you will get a different reward. It doesn't matter which challenges you complete, there's no order you have to do them in, it's just the amount of challenges you complete. If you complete any three challenges, you'll get the refined gold speaking trumpet. If you complete any six challenges, you'll get the refined gold spyglass. If you complete any nine challenges, you'll get the refined gold cutlass. And if you complete all 12 challenges, you'll get the cartographer's tattoos. Now all of the challenges are either split into Novice Explorer or Experienced Navigator. Now these categories are kind of arbitrary. Novice Explorer are just kind of the easier challenges, and Experienced Navigator are the harder challenges. Now there's a lot of overlap between the challenges, so to make this as straightforward as possible, I will be showing them in blocks. So first off, we have these three. For the first one, which is sit in three taverns, just every time you log into the game, sit down in one of the chairs in the tavern you spawn in. For World Tour, you have to visit five islands or sea forts in each region. So five in the Ancient Isles, which is the bottom half of the map here, five in the Shores Plenty, which is the west half of the map, five in the Wilds, which is the northeast corner of the map, and five in the Devil's Roar, which is the very east edge of the map. As a note, this challenge is player specific, it's not crew wide, so your crewmates won't be able to do this for you. And that's true for almost every single one of these challenges. For this, just basically, if you're going through a zone you don't think you'll be in lots, just like cannon off and step on islands as you pass them, and outposts and siren shrines do not count as islands, so the outposts you spawn in on will not count for this challenge. And you'll get island hoppy tour from doing world tour. Now for these three, siren treasuries are going to be your best friend. Now first off, you're going to want to find two siren treasuries on the map. The treasury of secret wilds is located at L3 on the map. The treasury of sunken shores is located at D3 on the map. And the treasury of lost ancients is located at H15 on the map. Once you get to any of these treasuries, you're going to swim down towards the glowing lights and you'll get into a big room. You fight a couple waves of enemies and once you've defeated all of them, you'll get some loot. Now, clearing one of these treasuries will get you historic sightseeing. Clearing two different treasuries, it's very important you clear different ones. You can't clear the same one twice. That will get you castle tour. And after you've done both of these treasuries, if you then visit any other siren shrine or a shipwreck, you will get underwater exploration. Next we have some fishing ones. For accomplished angler, you will have to catch a trophy plenty fin, a trophy wild splash, a trophy ancient scale, and a trophy devil fish. Now, if you don't really know how fishing works, essentially each fish requires certain conditions to be met to catch it. These four require you to be in a specific zone with a specific bait. For the plenty fin, you need earthworms and to be in the shores of plenty, west side of the map. For the wild splash, you need earthworms and to be in the wilds, which is the northeast part of the map. For the Ancient Scale, you need leeches and to be in the Ancient Isles, the south part of the map. And for Devilfish, you need grubs and to be in the Devil's Roar, the far east side of the map. Now, you will need to catch a trophy variant. So it has to be trophy something and then the fish you're trying to catch. So if you're trying to catch a Devilfish, it needs to be a trophy something Devilfish. Now, if you find yourself in a zone without the bait you need, each bait type can be dug up in the ground. Grubs can be dug up in the sand, leeches can be dug up in the shoreline, so partially underwater, and earthworms can be dug up in grass. If you're getting grubs when you're trying to get earthworms, you're in a too sandy area. And by the time you finish this one, you will also have serene fishing. Next, we have four miscellaneous ones. We'll go through these one by one. First off is Master Chef. Now this one has three different parts. First, cook food on an island at night. Now if you don't know, lots of islands have these cooking spots that you can go to, and if you place planks on them and then light them with a lantern, you can then cook food there. Now for this one, every single outpost has a cooking spot. It's just a matter of finding it and making sure you have something to cook and doing it at the right time of day. It's probably best to catch the zone fish that you need and then wait till night and cook it at one of the outpost fires. The second part of this requires you to cook something on your ship. Just go to your ship's grill, cook something. The third part of this requires you to go to a sea fort. So look on the map, find an AC fort, go there, and then just take like four coconuts or four bananas or something, run to the kitchen, plop them all on the stove. 
I don't know why this works with fruit. I tested the other ones. You need actual like meat to get the other ones, but this one works with bananas for some reason. Next, we have the naval battle experience. Defeat three ghost fleets, skeleton fleets, krakens, or megalodons. Now, this one is really, really weird. I initially thought that it required you to defeat any of those any number of times up to three. So you could defeat two krakens, a megalodon, and get it, or a ghost fleet and two skeleton fleets and get it. But upon further testing, it seems like each of these can only count once because we killed two megalodons and it, it only counted up to one. So I believe you have to defeat three different ones of these four. So a ghost fleet, a skeleton fleet, and a megalodon, or like a ghost fleet, a kraken, and a megalodon. Ideally for this, I would leave it as long as possible. You might get lucky and run into a kraken and a megalodon while you're doing the other challenges, in which case you just need to do a ghost or skeleton fleet. There's not really much I can help with this one. Next is treasures from ancient battlegrounds. Unlock a vault in a fort of fortune or fort of the damned. For this, again, I would put it off as long as possible. If you happen to see a Fort of the Damned or Fort of Fortune go up, you might want to head over and try and clear it. Otherwise, if this is like your last challenge, I would go talk to the Pirate Lord and purchase a Skull of Destiny Voyage. Throw this down, it'll lead you to an island, you can dig up the Skull of Destiny, and you can use this at the Fort of the Damned to activate it. Then if you're fast, you can probably clear it in about 20-30 minutes and hopefully unlock the vault. Now for the final challenge, Signed Supplies, complete two voyages in the Devil's Roar for either the Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, or Athena's Fortune. Now my original plan for this one was to buy Ashen Captain voyages from the shipwright and do those. But for some reason, those don't count. I don't know why, they just don't. So I'm pretty sure the only voyages that will count are Ashen voyages purchased from the Gold Hoarder or the Order of Souls on Mars Peak Outpost, or the Ashen Pirate Legend Voyages sold by the Pirate Lord. Now, I have not verified if any of these work. I have only tested Captain Voyages, which do not work, and Voyages dropped by Skeleton Captains, which also do not work. So I believe Ashen Gold Hoarder Vault Voyages will be the fastest, though I'm not even 100% sure those will count. I think they should, but I also think the Captain Voyages should count, so I'm not 100% sure there. If Ashen Gold Hoarder Vaults don't work, though, your best bet is to buy Order of Souls Voyages, as with the geysers, the skeletons die really, really fast. So basically just grab one of those, throw it down, and make sure it doesn't say chapter one. If the bars come up and it says chapter one, get rid of that voyage immediately and get a new one because you have no idea how long it is. It could be five chapters, it could be two chapters, but the second chapter could have 10 islands. You have no idea. Don't do chapter voyages. Just get a normal voyage without chapters. Also, someone could confirm if Ashen Treasure Vaults count for this in the comments, that would be amazing. Now, I do just want to quickly reiterate, most of these challenges are player specific, which means you have to do them yourself, you can't get your crewmates to do them. So all the fishing, all the cooking, and all of the visiting, all player specific. All of the ones that are crew wide involve beating something. So defeating a Megalon, defeating a Fort of Fortune, clearing voyages, clearing a Siren Treasury, everything like that, that involves like finishing a voyage or beating some kind of world event or fight, those are all crew wide, but everything else is a personal challenge that you have to do specifically and your crewmates can't do for you. Anyway, I think that is pretty much everything. Good luck on your challenges. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll transfer them as soon as possible and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.